This week, my algorithm fed me golf video after golf video after golf video. So golf videos are what you're going to get. I forgot my blue light glasses today, but it's still screen time. I grew up playing golf. My parents started me on golf lessons when I was about five years old. My whole family plays for the most part, so they got me going as soon as possible. And I will say, playing golf when you're one of the only girls who play is not fun. I played with my parents. I played with boys who didn't want to look at me or talk to me. And I wasn't old enough to consume alcohol. And as we know, golf after 21 is a whole different ball game. And we cut over the opening tee. Frank Burns had, a, I'm assuming, a little bit of a late night last night, Peter. He doesn't look well. Let's just be honest. I mean, outside of his gut hanging over that belt line, you know this guy loves to get f***ed up. But we are getting breaking news. He did again, like we said before, go out with Daly. He was caught smoking bogeys, sucking down coal ones, and f***ing trannies till 4 a.m. Obviously, they didn't stop drinking, and now the crowd is really giving Frank shit. Golf is hard enough as it is. Add a few beers, and it gets even harder, unless you're John Daly, of course, and it just kickstarts your game and brings you to the next level. But sometimes, the course will throw some curveballs nobody can prepare for. Oh my god. Bye bye. I can't believe it. <laughs> hey! I can't. Holy sh. The bear is still right there. Get it! Hey! No! Hey! Yeah, those things are gone. You've heard of the viral man versus bear trend where women tend to choose taking on a bear rather than a man if they were caught alone in the woods. But in reality, we're all dinner in the bear's eyes. This dude had a whole bag of weapons and the bear still came out on top. So maybe the radical feminist should rethink their answer. But even more embarrassing than losing your entire bag of clubs to a hungry bear is missing the fairway off the tee and having an unsuspecting audience there to watch you struggle through your next shot. He's trying again. <laughs> In the hole. Nice quiet, guys. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that guy is such a trooper. I that is my worst nightmare because I'm not sure what's worse: having all of those people know you suck at driving, having them have to judge your second shot, or having to hit off of that like wood. Personally, I would have taken the penalty and tried to avoid the public embarrassment as much as possible. There's absolutely no way I'm walking into that restaurant looking for my ball, first of all. I know some of the patrons were there like egging this on so they could see the show, but if this is me, I am walking past with my head down. And I will say one of my biggest gripes about the game of golf is that not enough girls play. It's always the guys trying to get away from the women in their life for a bit, try to have some fun with their friends on the weekend, have a drink or two. But if you pick the wrong kind of girl to date, a very clingy girl, you never really get away. So this girl obviously follows her boyfriend on Find My Friends. They share their locations. So she sees that he's on the golf course and she's trying to pinpoint his location. Then she goes to the golf course map and is trying to line the two up, try to figure out what hole he's on. Then she goes back and now this is confrontation time. How's the 18th hole? LOL. The comments. That's not your girl, that's your stalker. I'd be having her fill out an application to the CIA with this level of, inv of investigating. I sliced it onto the 18th fairway. I'm still on the first hole. And they started us on the back nine. My husband plays multiple rounds a week. I love being able to see what hole he's on so I have an idea of when he'll be home for dinner or other plans and I don't have to bother him with texting. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this. I feel like I don't follow like Anyone that I've dated in the past, we didn't follow each other on, we didn't share locations or anything. 
But I guess in that last example, she just wants to know when he's going to be home so she can have dinner prepared. That's okay. I don't know. Even more diabolical, though. This guy thought that he hit the jackpot with a girlfriend who booked them a tea time for his birthday. Ah, how considerate. But what he didn't know is that they have very different ideas of what a tea time is. She said, I told my boyfriend I had a tea time at 11 a.m. for his birthday. Little did he know I meant tea time. Where's the golf course? This is a Mick Ultra. And after sandwich 18, he decided this tea time was better than golfing. That's a stretch. I would say I'd rather play golf than ingest tea and 18 sandwiches any day. But as we know, not everyone is an athlete and that's why we love watching the Olympics so much. We get to watch the best of the best compete in events we couldn't even dream of doing. And in a hilarious new trend, people are posting their L's. Video evidence of why they were not chosen to go to Paris on behalf of the USA. I, I've never seen Simone Biles do that one. <laughs> Absolutely yeeted. It's a tough watch. I'm not gonna lie, it's a tough watch. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I was looking through the comments on that last one and they were cracking me up. Um, someone said, almost won the swimming competition with that one. Bro just powered all of the USA with that energy and gold on the windmill event, though. But even Team USA Gymnastics gold medalist Suni Lee joined in on the trend, sharing this video of her falling off the beam with the caption, unfortunately, I did make it to the Olympics. Not the clam slam. Uh, LSU gymnast Olivia Dunn commented, I can't with you. And UConn basketball star Paige Beckers commented, you win. And our favorite retired gymnast, Sean Johnson, shared the moves she's been perfecting lately. Less than two points away, she's in third. Right here, the toughest dive, toughest dive in the competition. That is going to be good enough to stay ahead. And I just realized, looking at that just now, I thought that she was doing like a gymnastics thing, but that's swimming. I just, I didn't realize that she was doing like a dive into the bed. Anyway, uh, even I can do that. And while the Olympics is a surefire way to feel patriotic and proud to be an American, just log into the internet for five seconds and those feelings will crash and burn. So here's a young Gen Z offering some political advice with her last two brain cells. Hypothetically, what if we split America in two and you have two presidents and you live in the side of the country that you want? Did I just solve America's problems? Oh, uh, that's not. <laughs> okay, why did I not know that they already tried this? I was literally thinking that's a great idea until I saw the comments. These people went to COVID Zoom school for sure. Um, but for the most part, everyone did their job and humbled her in the comments. I think I've seen this film before. So close, but this is actually called Civil War. The Divided States. Two nations under God, pretty divisible with liberty and justice for some. And oh my God, this could really be a good idea. That's all I got for this week. Scroll along and follow along with me at Haley Karenia on all platforms. Send me any fun videos that you want to see on the show and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for tuning in and scrolling along with me. If you're an OutKick fan, you know we are the antidote to the mainstream sports media. We're also kicking cancel culture to the curb and driving the national conversation when it comes to politics and pop culture. I'm on top of everything you're tweeting and texting about. For more fearless, funny, and original content, click here and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing.